what is it about red velvet cupcakes? Is it the moist chocolate cake? Is it the sweet cream cheese frosting? I don't know, but I do know we love them. But we're not supposed to eat them, right? Oh no, my sweet cupcake loving friends. With my recipe, these cupcakes are healthy, they're low fat, and the best part, one bowl, easy cleanup. And wait till you see how easy this recipe is and wait till you see how good they are. I'll show you. We start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour into one bowl, one cup of sugar into the bowl, quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, like a Hershey's baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, that's the dry ingredients all in one bowl. Now you're going to stir these up until they're well combined. If you want to, you can sift them, um, but uh, if you stir it well enough till, it well, till it's well combined, it should be just fine. As you can see, it doesn't take too long. Get it from the bottom up, and that's pretty much done. That's all stirred. Now we're going to do the wet ingredients. This is one cup of low-fat buttermilk. To that, we're going to add six tablespoons of canola oil, which is heart-healthy canola oil. I bake with all the time. We're going to add one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, which is traditional for these uh, red velvet cupcakes. You notice there's no butter in this recipe. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla extract, and finally, two teaspoons of red food coloring. So be very careful. Don't wear white when you make this recipe. There's the red food coloring. Now we're going to stir all this up and watch how this changes color. It's so pretty. It gets kind of a beautiful pink red color. Okay, so that's it. Now you add this to your dry ingredients and that's the recipe. So we're going to put this in. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, stir that in. This is called folding, which is probably the best way. Spatulas really, you know, I always used to use a spoon, but spatulas really get all the corners and do a really great job. Look how it's turning color. If you wanted to, you could add another extra teaspoon of uh, red food color if you wanted even redder, but these come out really, really red. And that's it. You can see, don't over mix, just kind of mix it just enough. That's it, ready for the pan. Now we need a 12 cup muffin pan, just like this. And I always use liners, and so I got these pretty red foil liners. Sometimes it takes a while to separate them, but I know I have 12 here because I did my homework. Okay, there's one more and two more and three more. Okay, all right, so the liners are in. And now we're going to put the batter in the... Now I'm going to use that uh, same spoon. This for me is a pretty good sized spoon. You have to figure out something that um, works size-wise for you. But to me, like a big spoon like this will do it. So uh, you start to measure, divide it evenly in, in the cups. And so I do it this way. I just take a big spoonful and I use my finger and I just kind of plop it in like that. Okay. And here's the next one, a big scoopful, and plop it in. And you do this until all the cups are filled, hopefully evenly. Okay, we're down to the last one, and I'm going to use the spatula again because you can get a lot of batter out with a, a, a silicone spatula like this, a soft one. So there's the last of the batter, and as you can see, I'm not a professional chef, obviously. Um, I have a little bit more, I'm a little bit short on the last cupcake. So what I'm going to do, and I've done, I do this all the time, I'll just take some out of the ones that are a little bit more full. See, I'll take a little teaspoon, take some out of that, take some out of this, and maybe this one here, and that kind of evens them out. I mean, the worst you'll have is some will be a little bigger, and they'll be They'll all be different anyway. Some will be bigger, some will be smaller, but that's about it. The only other thing I would say is if you have a little bit of a, a spillover, it's better to wipe it off before you put them in the oven because it's easier to clean it when it's wet than before it bakes on there. So that's it. They're going in the oven, a 350 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. And that's it. 
Okay, while the cupcakes are baking, you can make your cream cheese frosting. And as you'll see, mine has very little fat, especially saturated fat, because I'm only using one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon, okay? And one ounce of reduced fat cream cheese, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. I put the vanilla in first because every little bit of liquid makes a difference in the, the uh, texture or the consistency. So there it is. And we're gonna stir that up a little bit with the mixer. Just get it combined, okay? And then we're gonna add one cup of confectioner sugar. And that's the basic ingredients. And now what we're gonna do is add, and once this is combined, you give it a little time to get combined, I'm going to add just a little milk, not, maybe a teaspoon of milk, and I'll do it while I'm st st stirring, just to make it the right thickness. You see the, how little I added, and look at that. See? And that may be it right there. Yeah? I think that's a good consistency. So that was maybe not even a teaspoon of milk, and the frosting is done. Okay, now, get, off, get these off, okay, so you can use a spatula to get all this off, like that, and then you use the same spatula to just kind of make sure you got all the little, little bits of it in there, and that's it, that's ready to go, healthy low fat cream cheese frosting. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Okay, time's up, and they're done. And this is what they look like. I told you they weren't going to all be the same, so that's okay. If you're not sure if they're done, you can take a toothpick, stick it in your biggest one, right in the center. If the toothpick comes out clean like that, they're done. But obviously they have to be completely cool before you frost them, so I'm going to set them aside to cool. And I'm going to bring out one that I made earlier, right here, that's all nice and cool and ready to be frosted. Okay. So you got your frosting ready, and you just take, take a nice, I'll take a big fat one, how about that? Okay, here's your cupcake, here's your frosting, you just kind of swirl it around, and there's your cream cheese frosting, oh my god, can you imagine, I mean this is seriously, this is low in fat, almost no butter, no eggs, heart healthy canola oil, you gotta love them and me for giving you this recipe.